Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. In tonight's conversion, I'm tackling an Assault Intercessor from the Black Dragons chapter. It's a Loyalist Space Marine chapter created during the Cursed 21st founding. They're known for bony protrusions coming through their armour and generally being aggressive and assault marines. So of course we're going to build a, an Assault Intercessor. The parts we're going to need for tonight's conversion are fairly simple. I've got an Assault Intercessor from Indomitus or one of the new starter sets if you've got one of those. We're going to keep his bolt pistol arm, his backpack and his body and his head and the rest of it's going to get replaced. Uh, I've got a bit from the um, Idanith Deepkin, um, mainly because I want to use this curved piece here to add to his helmet. I've got a bloodletter skull, um, but to be fair, any skull with horns will do. Uh, fact, you could fashion bony protrusions out of um, green stuff or milliput or a bit of spare plastic. I'm just going to use these because it's nice and simple and they've got quite a nice curved shape to them. I've got these trophies from Age of Sigma Seraphon. Uh, they're kind of bony teeth things so I think they'll look pretty cool. I've essentially grabbed some arm bits from the Intercessor box uh, and I grabbed a shoulder pad. I think this one is from the Aggressors kit. Um, I wanted something that would mimic the look of the Assault Intercessors. Um, but because I want to do so much work on his arm, I don't want the arms with the Adominatus um, symbol on the side and, and the kind of gauntlets. And finally, I've got a 3D printed um, flaming um, basket thing for his back. You've, you can get these from the Salamanders kit if you don't have a 3D printer, or you can buy them online from a number of 3D print sellers or um, alternate bits makers. There's loads. So first things first, you need to build your Assault Intercessor. Uh, in this case, I've just stuck the front and back of him together and we'll get him on a base. We can drop his other, his bolt pistol arm on, like that, and we can drop his backpack on as well. So while he's drying off, we'll start some work on his arm. So for his arm, we're going to have him bunched in, up in a fist and we're going to give him some spikes coming out the back of his hand or his forearm bone protrusions and these horns are absolutely perfect for it so they're going to come sticking out of his hand his forearm here so we're going to take one of these and cut it we're going to cut it quite far back so we've got plenty of room to work with obviously this is really really long and much longer than we need here we can either have it coming out of his hand or we can have it further back i might do two i might do a small one coming out of his hand and another one further back. So for the one from his hand, I'm going to take this back about here. I'm just sorry, putting my fingers everywhere, but I want to make sure I cut that without it firing off every, everywhere across the room. So I want it curving forwards like this. So obviously I need to change the angle very slightly on it, just like that. Then I'm going to add a second longer one coming out from his arm back here somewhere. So as before, I'm going to cut it further back than I need, chuck that out of the way, and then just do some test fits to see how it works. Obviously that's much, much too long. I want to get it, I reckon, about there. So it's going to sit just there. So if you look at the angle, you just need to sharpen this angle a little bit and trim it down a little. You want to try and line it up so the two look kind of on the same line. You don't have to line it up, you can do if you wish to. You can have them pointing all over the place if you like. Essentially I want him to look like he's winding up for a punch with these rather, rather pointy horns. I'll add his shoulder pad on. So he's starting to come together quite nicely now. So next up we're going to use a bit of Black Art Corsair cloak. I'm going to drop it just in front of his body there. So of course I probably shouldn't have put the other arm on first. We need to slide this in here somehow. So first things first, I'm going to start cutting this down to size. If you're doing a whole chapter of Black Dragons and want to make your bits go a little bit further, it may be more sensible not to just hack this apart like I'm doing and do your best to save some of it. <coughs> I'm going to be fairly brutal with this because I only need it for this model. But obviously if you want to save yourself a bit of money 
and um, value essentially then you want to try and be as um, economical as possible with these pieces I think I'm going to take this central piece here I'm not going to use I was quite fancy using this tattered end but I think that that will be harder to fit the easy fit is going to be taking this central piece down a line down here and a line on the other side and that should fit under his belt quite nicely so we're going to take a knife here and just work our way down and we'll do the same down the other side making it a little bit wedge shaped as we go so there we have something that's broadly the same shape and size as a usual loincloth it's back it's quite thick here so we're going to trim this down on this side and this side and level this off flat on the top and then i'll tidy up the edges of this where i've caught some of these um scales halfway through so it won't take me along so there we have it that's cleaned up a little bit on the sides done our best to kind of hide where we've made cut lines and i've flattened the back of it right down to make it nice and neat and we'll just stick this underneath his belt here okay so he's starting to come together now and this I loads of problem with the camera tonight uh, and his belt fits fairly neatly there um, a little bit of green stuffing will just tidy that up no end uh, a little later on next up we're going to add a spiked ridge to his head and then we're just going to use this Adneth Deepkin banner top I borrowed the bottom for another conversion I think that was the car carried on and we'll just cut it about there I want to sit it just in front of, yeah, I wanted it on his forehead, really. It's, it's the important bit is when you're doing stuff like this, is make sure you're following the line of the helm, any other markings on it, otherwise it looks really, really weird. And then next we'll add his flaming, um, flaming basket. It's got a real name, I can't remember what it is. So yeah, we'll just pop that on his backpack there with a dab of super glue. So that's gone in his uh, backpack fairly neatly there. And the last two things we're going to do on this guy, I'm going to add him a shoulder pauldron because um, I like these and we're going to find some space for these rather cool looking teeth. So there we have it. One assault intercessor from the Black Dragons chapter. I'll do a bit of green stuffing just to tidy it up off camera and get him painted up. Uh, you, however, can wait a minute and see the video coming up right now. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care and we'll see you next time.